Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Clipstead today with yet another first person building episode. Today we are going to be finishing the building we started two episodes ago, um, which was another first person building episode. And we're just going to do the interior and doing the, the outside areas and stuff like that today. Um, just to finish this building off together so you get the whole, whole uh, feeling, whole... Um, uh, way of doing a building like this. So that's kind of what we're gonna do today. So far this building is looking pretty cool It's on a diagonal, so it's pretty hard to do the interior and also the exterior So it's gonna be fun doing this together. Would you see what, what we can come up with here inside kind of small? I guess It's gonna be tricky to get a staircase in here I guess and then we have a small backyard here where he's going to be doing his thing This is going to be a crafter uh, or a carpenter of some sort doing some stuff here, so We're gonna get to that as we move along here. So uh, when we first get in here We want to just get a little bit of cupboards and things like that just to create a small uh, kitchen area So uh, we're just gonna plan out a little bit here. So I think what if we Yeah uh, Put a ladder here So that we can move up to the second floor like this come on out there we go like that um, very small upstairs uh, finish this yeah like this I guess so it's gonna be trickier to get this here right but I think it's gonna be very cozy and have a lot of personality once we're done here so a uh, fireplace is here so I think we're gonna kind of build a kitchen around that so um, maybe something like that and then we can have a barrel this barrel here with some water in and the side here like so um, and then we can have like um, some onions and stuff hanging here possibly a small uh, cupboard here up in the corner like that where with a little bit of maybe like a jug of milk and some, some jam stuff maybe like that that is not too bad and uh, we can also have a small table here I guess uh, okay so we need to make sure that we have space for the people who live here to sit as well so um, what if we maybe have the table here on the side like that? One out like so, and then we can have like some chairs here and there, um, just like that. We can also have maybe some kind of cupboard stuff happening here, and maybe with like a spice rack or something. Like that could work. That's not too bad. Um, and some tools and things. Like, supposed to be like knives and things. There's also this painting which looks like knives or kitchen tools. Um, where can we put that? It doesn't look like we have too much space here to do that. And also it's on diagonal, so it's pretty hard getting painting stuff. So, I guess for now, let's not do that. Let's just, um, let's just drop that for now. And then we can just put a small flower here, maybe with some custom things on top, like that. Uh, and then just a small plate here with uh, some food on, just like that. And we should also have a little bit of light in here. Maybe we can have a lantern hanging down, or maybe just, maybe let's just do a table with a candle on. Or a lantern of some sort you can do it like this that's not too bad and then we can put a small carpet on the floor here this is kind of the way I go ahead while building and just kind of think to myself what can we put here and what do we need now to really make it come alive and kind of just build so that's kind of a very important thing to do um, yeah, that's perfect. We can have that small tanker. Is it called tankard? Yeah, um, on here like that just because it's on the half of the block. Perfect. Um, 
And I guess we could have some more stuff here. Uh, what if we have this support thing? Like that, and then we can have uh, maybe some food on there. We could have like a barrel, that would be pretty nice. If we have... Um, okay, this is gonna be a little bit tricky here. I uh, would need to go out here. Is that right? No. I think that's right. Maybe. Yes, perfect. Uh, and then we can have the... It's here, I guess. Maybe the hook, like that. Can I place you there now? Well, crap then. Um, don't really know what to do then. We need to do some world edit and stuff then. Um, Ruffle Zero. Take you out. Go there. There and there, like that. It works. Perfect. Uh, very cool. I like that. Um, then we have this small area here in the front, this small hallway here. I guess nothing really to put here. Maybe just some storage um, and a little bit of a living area, kind of. Maybe. Um, yeah, it's, this is a tricky part with diagonal builds is that it's kind of hard to get interior looking good. Uh, but if we have a table there and then maybe like a bookshelf um, then something like that maybe like so perhaps yeah uh, and then we can have a small chair or something like that here and then he's probably doing some stuff maybe maybe writing I don't think the, the Norseman would be really good at writing, so maybe not. Um, he is... what shall he be doing? Um, he's playing cards. I guess. Yeah, he's playing some cards. Um, and I, see, I think this, this turns out pretty cool in here. I hope it's not too dark for you guys. I have my shaders on, but I don't think it should be too loomy here. But um. I'll have to check, maybe I'll have to edit it in and make it more bright and stuff. Um, then we have the ceiling here, and this is going to be tricky, I think. Or maybe not. Uh, yeah, just filling it in, basically. Actually, not too bad. Um... Yeah, I, I guess there's not really any way for me to do this better than what I've done now. I just on diagonal like this, so it's pretty pretty weird and hard to get your head around how to do things on the inside because everything Minecraft is based on a grid system, so everything is like the, the beds are facing this way. But ideally it should be facing like on diagonal like this next to the wall. So it's kinda of tricky getting everything right here, but uh, we have to just do with what we got, I guess. Let's have a big bed here. Um, maybe a table with a small candle on top. And we can have a painting up above here. Or maybe even one of these bad boys. Come on now. We can have one of these. Um, Like that, and then we can have some storage up there. You need to utilize the space as much as you can. So I guess something like that, and then I really like this small head here. The player model like that. Um, so that works. Um, maybe another bed for some kids and stuff. Maybe in here like that. With, um, I guess, a small wardrobe. What is that? Why is you green? I don't understand. Um, you can have something like that here. Mm, maybe like that as well. 
and like so and then up here maybe some writing tools i know i said i don't think they would be doing that but possibly like the parents would be able to write and a journal of some sort for his um his small shop down below um and then a small carpet thing here I guess, um, and then maybe some chests and stuff just for storage would be nice. Like that and like here maybe. Yeah, I guess that's kind of as good as we can get it here as, uh, as it's a diagonal build, but um, I'm kind of happy with it. I feel like it has a lot of personality and it feels nice and cozy in here. And that is something I value highly, that it feels nice and cozy to be in here. So, very happy with how that turned out. Then it's the backyard here, which is the last thing for today's episode. Uh, I guess together with a little bit of landscaping. Also guys, make sure to let me know what you think of these first person buildings uh, compared to the time lapse one. Uh, I will. For now, my the way, the way I think is that I want to to um, to do both, but mostly focus on doing um, doing the time lapses as uh, it's easier for me whenever I have a lot of time to do them because I just sit down, relax, watch some videos, do a lot of building, maybe do some live streams while building and, and stuff as well, and then uh, I can just kind of clip it all together later, which is kind of convenient. But for now, I don't really have too much time, and it's summertime, and as I talked a little bit about, um, I will focus on just using the summer for all it's worth. I'm living in Norway, and um, we're not really, not really getting the best summers all the time, but currently it's beautiful outside, so uh, I really want to focus on just using the, the few nice days that we have here, sunny days, and things like that. So I hope that's understandable and that uh, maybe we can compromise with a little bit of simpler building videos and I'll probably do a little bit of live streaming as well because that is a lot easier. So I'm thinking of doing doing a live stream only a series where we uh, start off not, not a project like a side a small project aside from this uh, where we will we'll be um, we'll be building something a little different which is um, I think could be fun so maybe starting that tomorrow night or something like that um, for me uh, I don't really know when this is coming out for you um, so yeah I think that's gonna be a pretty fun uh, just to kind of utilize the summer as much as possible I don't have to sit down and edit too much uh, all the replays from the live streams and stuff will of course be available so that you can watch them later if you want to and if you miss it and stuff like that um, but I just don't want to use too much time on editing and things like that. Maybe do a grand uh, time lapse in the end when, when we're done and stuff. But yeah. So I hope that would be pretty cool. And I to me that sounds pretty interesting. So maybe maybe we'll do that. I have to think a little bit about it and plan out and what kind of things we could build if we're going to do this. And yeah. I don't want to rush into anything. Okay, so then we have this backyard where uh, we kind of... Um, had his working station is working on a bucket right now and then we have a wheel on the ground he's just been building um things like that i wonder if we could have a tree in here maybe not i like how open it is um uh, yeah let's not have a tree in here let's just have maybe some smaller um small trees like these ones um we can have one here like that maybe and then uh, oh yeah we can also use the saplings they have this cool model thing like that maybe that is not too bad I think that's pretty cool back here we can also squeeze in a little bit of more vegetation uh, which is always nice a lot of vegetation just really makes this town come alive so and I'm gonna try to use that as much as possible and then just making the ground a little bit more uneven which is very nice like that 
And there, my friends, I think we've got it. I think this building is all done now. Uh, this next building here is going to focus on landscaping this side. As it has a big backyard. It's going to be a jam maker. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.